Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In today's video I'm going to show you how to create some small details for our FPS game in Unity. These can be used pretty much anywhere in the game uh, just to make some uh, rooms or I guess space look uh, a bit more alive. Today we're going to be making some small stones that you can place in the grass, on the concrete, just to make it uh, look less plain. So first I'm going to press Shift A and add a new cube. I'll just press 1 and 5 on my numpad, tab to go into edit mode and then pr press also press shift tab to go into Snapdragon transform and then just press G and Z to move it up and now uh, if we were to Im export this into Unity everything we do is uh, around this point so if we move it we move it with this point down here we rotate around this point and we also scale around this point that's very important but first I will just uh, scale this so it's a bit smaller and then I will take this upper part or the top part of the cube and then I will also press S to scale and maybe move it down a bit. You can turn off Snapdragon Transform, we don't need it anymore. And now I'll just start moving some of these uh, vertex around. I'm just trying to get a, a random shape right here. So what I can do now is just duplicate this, move it to the side, and then I will try to get another random shape. And maybe just one more, just for the sake of it. Duplicate and then I will just uh, move these a bit. And you can make more, I just think 3 is uh, enough for the size of our game. And right now I'm going to select all 3 of these and move them to the side right here. And now I can start creating kind of the groups of the stones. But first I will rename this one to like stone 1, stone 2 and stone 3. And now I can take one of these stones, duplicate it, move it uh, here, maybe rotate it a bit. And make sure you're uh, in um, top orthographic view with uh, the numpad. So you just press 7 and 5. And uh, maybe I can duplicate this one. You can scale them, you can rotate them with uh, R and S. And right now I think I have one group. So once I do, select all of them in that group and just press Ctrl J. And then just press Shift Control Alt C, Origin to 3D cursor. So now their origin is uh, at the middle. Once I have this group, I'm just going to move it to one side and just start over. So I'm just going to I have another group, so I'll just select everything and Control J, Shift Control Alt C, Origin to 3D cursor, and then just move it side. I'll create one more. I think that will be enough. And I have another group, select everything, press Ctrl J, and we have everything here. At this point I can delete these three unless I want to make some more later, but since I don't, I'm just going to delete. I have these three groups and now I can rename them. I will call this one um, Stone Group 1, I have Stone Group 2, and Stone Group 3. At this point I'm just going to move all of them to middle and then um, have them all here. I can select everything, press shift Control alt c once more just to make sure that uh, their origin point is in the middle. Press Rx-90, apply the location, rotation and scale, press Rx-90 to bring it back. And now I can just first save, so just save as, this will be stone groups I guess, save as blender file and now I can select one by one and export them but before I do that I'm just going to create a new material, call it stone and then apply it to all the other stone groups like that and now I can export. So just select one, go file export fbx, this will be stone group one, make sure you click selected objects down here, very important now and then click this thing for scale and export. Select the second one, go File, Export, FBX, 
stone group 2 and all of this should be already selected so just go export and select the third one file export fpx stone group 3 fpx export that's it for this video now we can use these in unity and place them everywhere we want and it should look much better right now so hopefully you enjoyed if you did be sure to leave a like comment down below if you have any suggestions you can subscribe and you can go follow me on my social media there's links to that in the description and of course as always you can go follow me on patreon or support me on there that'd be appreciated a lot and hopefully i'll see you next time bye bye